Hey guys, how good? In today's video, I show the process of modeling ornaments in 3ds Max. Today, we will see how prior planning helps to speed up the entire modeling process for any models. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! Let's start our planning in Photoshop. I recommend you create a new layer to draw the topology. With the brush, we will choose a color that stands out on the model. I use it blue. We adjust the size of the brush and we start outlining the edges of the model. Hold shift to make creating lines easier. Try to create something very simple. It doesn't have to be precise. This will just be a basis for our modeling. In 3ds Max, we better adjust the distribution of meshed space. Let's also outline these details in the center. Everything is very direct, without much precision here when drawing the lines. Now, I recommend that you create a new layer and use another color to create the middle of the mesh. This will help to differentiate the lines, and visually it will be easier to understand as well. I'm going to use red and decrease the brush size a little. Here, the idea is that you try to create face with 4 vertices, avoid great polygons with 5 or 6 vertices. This will help you develop your skills and create meshes with a good topology. These concepts can be adapted to all types of models, mainly on hard surface models. Here, I'm not going to create the entire topology because I already did previous and I'm going to show you now how my planning turned out. As you can see, I create four groups, one for each part of the model. Break it down into parts make it easier for you to create the plan. See that the lines are very clean and reduced leaving the topology very large but functional. The next step is to export this image and start modeling 3ds Max. Here, you see the four separate images. We that are going to do now is create the plan. Remember to save the image with equal height and with its dimensions to make it easier to import into Max. We drag the image here and let's start modeling. I will start with the plan. Use Alt X commands to enable transparency and then F4 shortcut to visualize the ads. As we have already planned the entire topology in Photoshop, the steps here are very simple. We use basic tools to create the entire model, just changing between vertex mode to adjust the points and add mode to extrude and create the new lines. We will create the entire topology following this process. By following this workflow, you will notice that the model will work correctly if you create a good topology. So don't be in a rush when creating the design in Photoshop. Remember that the time we will spend creating the topology we will save here during modeling. This is because here you already have the entire base of the model, so your job will be to fill in the shape. With good planning, you can create incredible models quickly and more practically. Without that frustration of starting to model something and halfway through the model realize that it's not working. This is very frustration. I have been there. By creating model this way, you will be better able to save mesh problem in the future. A lot of people ask me how to improve and how to solve a topology problem. This is a good study and I recommend it to choose of you who are looking to develop your perception of topology. Returning off our model, we will see that we have already made a lot of progress in modeling here. As the process is repetitive, I advanced some parts so it won't don't be so long. Now that we have all the parts ready, 
Let's fit them out together as in the reference. Here, what we show do is looking closely at the reference and put the piece together so that they fit together as well. I use symmetry after modeling all the pieces to mirror the shape. And this was the final result of modeling today. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.